So I want to highlight a message that is important for the solution of, as you know, this is a prisoner's dilemma, uh, are now blind to the common pool resources and the tragedy of the commons. But um, why is it so hard to come from this Nash equilibrium to the best solution for both? Although there is an advantage, right? Uh, for both here they can earn twenty thousand dollars more so so why is it so hard and and the problem is the following right the pro the problem is if um firm one says well okay we do not pollute we do not pollute and they really do not pollute and firm two says yeah we do not pollute and but in fact, they deviate from that what they promised. We end up here. We end up here. And now see, firm one says that we do not pollute and they really do not pollute. And the other firm says, well, we do not pollute, but in fact they do. So firm two could improve from 50,000 to 90,000. So there is a huge incentive to deviate and firm one loses from 50,000 to 5,000, right? So there's a huge incentive to deviate or just to lie, right? There's a huge incentive to lie because in case you, do, you lie and the other really does what he says, then you end up with more earnings. And, and the same is true, of course, for firm number one. If firm number one says, well, we don't pollute, uh, and, and firm number two says, well, we do not pollute, but in fact, firm two uh, does not pollute, and firm one pollutes, then, then we end up here. And what is the result here? Well, firm one, improves from 50,000 to 90,000. So they have higher earnings because they deviate, because they lie. And uh, firm two loses from 50,000 to 5,000 because they do what they said, what they promised. And that's the issue, right? There's a huge incentive to lie. And you need some regulations, you need some institutions uh, that allow for trust, mutual trust. They have to trust each other. And, but here, the incentives are clear so that there's a huge incentive to deviate, right? And um, from, the, from the better solution, right? Okay, and uh, for those who want to see that in practice, there is there was a UK uh, show called uh, Golden Balls and you will find our videos on YouTube and it's about steal or split. That's exactly the translation of that game into a game show in the UK. Have fun with that.